Welcome back to my channel. Yes, welcome back to Dengue House Fashion. Today's tutorial will be about how to take comprehensive body measurement from a shirt, from a blouse, to a dress, and to a trousers. So if you like to know how to take comprehensive measurement for this items mentioned, please endeavor to watch the video to the end and please don't forget to like share our videos and endeavor to subscribe and put on your notification bell so you'll be notified anytime we upload new videos so let's get right on yes to begin with this tutorial we'll be taking you who will need our measurement tape for this and our client or a mannequin as we're using for this purpose and also i'll be using the inches yes formula for my measurements. So we'll be taking our shoulder measurement first of all. Yeah, from one shoulder bone to the other, we'll be taking our shoulder measurement first of all. That is what we need. This is how to take the accurate shoulder measurement. So from here, we'll take it from our shoulder bone here to our nipple point. So well, this is our nipple point where the protruding part of the breast is where it's pointed. That's what we call the nipple point or the bust point as we all have our different names for this. Then we'll slide on to the under bust. This is where the under bust is. So from there we'll go to our waist. Our waist is like the tiniest part of our body before the hip. Then we we'll also have our hip point there. Then from here you can also determine your desired length. But when determining your desired length, make sure your tape is right at the under bust there. So before you can decide to take your full or desired length off the client. So that is it. So we go along to our armhole. This is our armhole. And this is how you take your armhole. You make sure you're able to twist, tilt your tape back and forth. So you'll be able to tilt your tape back and forth. Yes, that's the armhole. How to take the armhole measurement. So this is the round sleeve of the upper arm. This is how you take your round sleeve. You take it up and down to see if there's a bit of freedom there. A bit. Then this is our elbow. This works whereby this is the desired length of your client for the sleeve length. Or you want to do like a long sleeve. So you take your um, elbow, the round sleeve of your elbow here. Then at the same time you also come in case you're working on a for a longer sleeve, you come here and take your sleeve measurement. Just a little bit of freedom to be able, yes, the tape can move up and down like that. Then if you want to take the full length of your sleeve, you will tell your client to be tilt the hand like this so you'll be able to take it. So I can do this right now because it's a mannequin I'm using. I'm using so I'm just telling you so in case. Then we'll come to our um circumference we're going to be taking the bust circumference right now the full circumference of the bust so this is how you take it you don't put your tape you don't put your tape on top of the bust it's at the fullest part that nipple part the exact nipple part that's where you nipple point rather that's where you take your bust how you take your bust measurement make sure the tape is at that fullest part of the bust, not on top or under. So, we we'll also need our nipple to nipple measurement. Yeah, from one distance of the nipple to the other, so we we'll need our nipple to nipple measurement. And also for this, we'll be needing our under bust measurement. Yeah, just right under bust, full circumference of the under bust, we'll be needing that too. Then the full circumference of the waist, Yes, we'll be needing this one. Then at that hip point, in case you're making a blouse, you'll be needing that hip point. Yes, you will just need like make it a bit free. Then you just need this measurement. Then our hip popper. We also need the hip popper measurement. I just want to show you guys something. Let me tilt my mannequin on this side. Yes, it is always wise for the tape to be at the bottom here like this it's always wise for the tape to be at the bottom not underneath if not you have issues when the client comes for fitting after you finish making it 
so it's got almost good for it to be at the bottom but you take it up and you take it down like that so so it's just wise for it to be here let me take this top off so you can see exactly it's wise for it to be like this you take it up and you take it a bit down like that so that is that then you also need your waist measurements in waist up in case you're making like a, a skirt or a trouser so you'll be needing your waist you'll be needing your waist measurements here then we'll go straight to how to take accurate measurements for trouser making so since we already know how to take for waist and the heat which you'll be needing for trousers also we'll also go we're just going straight to how to take your upper Tie measurements, the upper tie measurements. This is how you take your upper tie measurements. You put it on that upper part of the tie before this. Just make sure it's up there. Yes. You see the way my tape is just like that. You take it up, you take it down, you take it up, you take it down. That's how you take it. Then you come to your knee part here. So you take it off, take it down. So your knee part here, take it off, put it down. Yes, let's be a bit free. Yeah, a bit free, not overly tight, a bit free like that. Then you come to your calf. This kind of measurement is needed when you're making like um when you're making like a, a pencil trousers for a client. Yes. So you need your calf measurement. You take it like that. Then you also you need in your ankle measurement your ankle measurement your ankle measurement yes so is it that you can make it tight it depends on the preference of the client the client some client might want it very fitted like tight so you just need to ask how fitted they want that ankle part to be then at the same time you would also be needing your show them um, sorry your the desired length of the client for the trousers or rather for the skirt also so you take put your you place your tape on your waist upper like that on that hip bone yes the hip bone there you place it then you take the desired length for both the skirt the trousers and that's how you do it and also if you're making a shirt dress or a shirt for a client you also need your neck measurements so it's five measurements second dress for the neck you also need that you would need that also you also need that for the neck uh, full circumference of your neck yes round like that you need it well it shouldn't be too choky so the your clients can breathe <laughs> yeah you understand so that's just if you need it so that's it so that is even how to take accurate body measurement for your blouses for your uh, um dresses for skirt and also for trousers so if this video was helpful don't forget to give us a thumbs up and don't forget to like and share our videos we're gonna come your way very soon 